Good evening, students. This is our on screen C1 English language group, and today is the 20th of January. In our lesson today, we are going to practice reading skills, true, false, and doesn't say answers by reading the text in your workbook, and then we'll continue upgrading your vocabulary on health. Okay, so to start with, everybody open your workbook on page 40. And let's go through the explanations given below about the idea of true, false, doesn't say answers according to the text. Okay, so Katrin is joining the class now. Hello, Katrin. Are you there? Well, Katrin, open your activity book because now you are going to practice reading skills and you need the text in front of you. Okay, your vocabulary activity book at Ubernik Pneumonia, this is the text. We are going to read and answer the questions, Katrin. Отворете си тетрадката на страница 40. Well, now look at the sentences. By the second half of the 18th century, animals were being brought into mental institutions. Statement, animals were introduced into facilities for the mentally ill after the 18th century. Is this information true, false, or doesn't say? What do you think, Lucy? What do you think? Um, only true? Yeah, this is true. <laughs> Why does it say false? By the second half of the 18th century, animals were being brought into mental institutions. Animals were introduced into facilities for the mentally ill after the 18th century. Hmm. By the second half of the 18th century. Mm -hmm. Добре. Значи едното е до втората половина, а тук е след, да, тук е след. Това води до значителна разлика в смисъл. Тук е след 18 век, което изключва 18 век. Разбирате ли? Затова просто не го осмислихме правилно. След 18 век и до втората половина на 18 век. Добре. Следващия въпрос е Катерина. Can you read it? Телефончето може ли да ми го дадеш, Стояне? Да, дай ми го тук до мене, да не се разсебваш повече. Така. Dogs in particular... Particular puppies assist in reading programs for children for all ages. The results have been very encouraging with the teachers reporting a fast learning curve. Puppies are more effective than dogs in helping teach uh, children to read. Dogs assist in improving children. The research is more encouraging to just put more effective than dogs. Oh, do they? Do you? In my chat one, it doesn't say. Yeah. Oh. I said to me, it doesn't say. <laughs> Because B states that in particular puppies more than dogs help children to read and the statement also says that puppies are more effective than dogs in helping the children to read. Още веднъж прочетете внимателно, кучетата, в частност малките кученца, помагат при четенето, нали, програмите за четене за деца на всички възрасти. Резултатите са били доста поощряващи с учители, които докладат бързо учене. Пага, но никой не казва, че в принцип са самите кучета, това не мога да разбера за големите. Не, все пак е вярно. And this is true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Да, добре. Просто виждате ли колко е трудно четенето с разбиране? Идете, разберете какво ви питат. 
Ако имате късмет, ще изкарате ридинга на тези изпити. Ако имаме късмет да разберем какво ни питат. Така. Хайде сега. Имаме подобен текст за четене с разбиране. Read the passage. И след това ще изкоментираме всяко едно от тези изречения. Има ли някой вкуса, който вече е работил върху текста? Има ли някой? Добре. Тогава, ето го текстчето, предлагам всеки да си го прочете на ум, за да осмисли информацията в текста. А, освен това, имаме и vocabulary. А, let's check the vocabulary first. Така, имаме ли непознати думички в този списък от думи? Те не са много, но все пак. A learning... learning curve. Това е кривата на учене. Up and down. The pace at which somebody acquires a skill. Contradict противоречи. Contradict. Contradict противоречи. Faint. Faint. Незабележим. Slap. Gosh. Gosh. Uh, to talk about something enthusiastically. То е да говорите с ентусиазъм за нещо. Handler. Handler. А, ето една нова думичка. Това е треньорът на животното. Се нарича а handler. handler. Germ. Germ. Чували сте тази дума, нали? Germ е какво? Микроби. Да. Микроб. Yes. Biophilia. Biophilia. Appreciation of love and nature and living creatures. Това е обичтави към природата и живите същества. This is called biophilia. Т.е. да бъдете в, да сте влюбени в всичко, което е свързано с природата. Biophilia. Wag. Помните ли си тази думичка wag? Wag. The dog can't wag. Тук махам плашката. Ученцето точно така. An animal moving its tail from one side to the other is to wag one's tail. Fuzzy. Fuzzy. They mean fluffy, пухкъв. Fluffy, пухкъв. Non-judgmental. Non-judgmental. Без предвъсъдъци. Incentive. Аз сте чували поощрение. Incentive. Especially when you train dogs, they need an incentive. Deteriorate. Deteriorate е влушавам. Влушава се състоянието на пациента. It's deteriorating. Therapeutic. 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 Лечебен. Терапевтичен. We talked about that last time. Gain momentum. To gain momentum, то е да to become popular или да придобиете моментъм е скорост от ситуацията. To gain momentum. Settings. Settings. Е вашето разположение. Your settings, your locations. Propensity. Have you heard this one? An inclination. Това е ако имаме предпочитание, inclination е като м- склонност. Inclination, склонност към нещо. Propensity. Profound. Profound, significant. Incorporate. To include and soothing. Soothing is calming. Okay? I'll take a picture of this vocabulary. И така, сега, как предлагате да ги да прочетем заедно текст или всеки самостоятелно си го прочете на ум? What is going to be the best way to work with the text? Да пробваме четене на глас. Искате ли заедно или всеки на ум? Добре, заедно ще го прочетем. So, Bogdan, could you start reading the first paragraph? Yes, uh, 10-year-old Emma wouldn't speak or get out of uh, her hospital bed. Uh, diagnosed with a serious disease, Emma had had to undergo months of therapy, 
with each passing day, she seemed to be deteriorating. That was until she met Harvey, a big uh, fluffy seven-year-old uh, uh, golden retriever. The first day we walked into her room, Emma actually spoke and managed uh, a faint smile. It was incredible. From that first uh, visit on, Emma's recovery accelerated. Uh, Gushes Harvey's handler, Doris. She insists uh, just the sight of the therapy dog or cat creates a room full of smiles and more importantly, hope. Okay. Uh, Lucy, can you move on to the next paragraph? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, those of us who own pets know how happy they make us, but a growing body is research of uh, showing that animals can also make us healthier. The effect seems to be beyond, to go beyond just comfort and com companionship. Com companionship. Yeah. To what a lot of people are saying is actually therapeutic. Pugic. Therapeutic. Therapeutic. Animal assisted therapy, once rare and met with opposition, as something. Um, Proven that would only bring germs into germs, hospitals. Germs, germs, microbes into, into hospitals uh, is uh, gaining momentum. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, animal therapy programs can now be found in settings ranging from hospitals and nursing homes to school. Just uh, jails and mental health facilities. Today's non Ivala, can you continue the next paragraph? Yes. Um, as the practice of animal therapy becomes more widespread, the focus isn't on whether it works, but rather how. There is not one single answer, but a number of theories are in the works. One is uh, the biophilia. 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 Hypothesis. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. That uh, essentially stares hum states humans have an innate propensity to Man. connect with Sklonus. other living things. Vrodena sklonost to connect. Mm -hmm. Yes. With other living things, uh, resulting sometimes in profound ph physiological effects. Another is the social support theory with the idea that therapy animals provide a form of non judgmental support that uh, breaks down barriers in therapy, allowing people to relax, trust, and open up to medical staff. So there's no. Katrin, can you continue reading the text? While uh, research on the subject still has a long way to go, the idea that animals are good for our health has been around for some time. There are cases of doctors trying to incorporate uh, animals into a psychiatric setting with the intention to calm patients that date back to the uh, 70s more uh, 1700s 1700s more recently uh, studies have uh, shown that having a pet around can lower blood pressure and even reduce the risk of heart disease research uh, has shown that just petting a dog for a few minutes can uh, raise level of hormones that make us feel better dramatic uh, therapeutic therapeutic effects were seen by medical researchers at a hospital in Australia. Analysis of data showed that after the introduction of therapy dogs, average recovery time of uh, seriously ill patients was reduced by 30%. Bravo, dobre. Konis me čuli v momenta. Ekaterina, continue. Dobre. Da. So, the therapeutic effects are not only limited to medical illnesses or only wild dogs. And the animals such as horses, cats, rabbits, and even dolphins have assisted in 
they're being for people with disabilities and those affected by some kind of kinds of trauma. For example, horses often assist in physical therapy with often expressive impressive results. The beauty of a horse is that it, it can be a therapeutic in a variety of, of ways. Say say Physiotherapist. Physiotherapist Drew Greenwell. Uh, patient, patients benefit from the connection they build with their host, enabling them to be more willing to work in therapy as well as the physical benefits of improved strength and control they gain working over time with the horse. Victims of natural disasters or accidents report, report respond very well to animal assistance. Many are unable to communicate for, communicate following such events, but a lake or on a cheek or the whack of a tail has an immediate sh shooting e effect. <clears throat> As it turns out, a cold, wet nose and a fuzzy face makes more of us smile. An animal is unconditional love and, uh, and that crosses our boundaries. <clears throat> Okay, and that was the text. Let's now answer the questions. So the text is in front of you. Can you discuss the questions? Stuyan, you are the start, the first one to start. So, number one. <laughs> Harvey is the golden retriever, isn't it? Did he visit her quite often? So, from that first visit on Amos recovery accelerated, Gush's Harvey's handler. Doris, she insists just the site of the therapy dog or can hear her the room for the car. Yeah, we must see that. Oh, she is only that information in the text. As me, I did not see that. Mister, it doesn't say. Mm-hmm. Yes, the camista. Da. This is the correct answer. Just to get a look at the text, there is no information how often she. The dog visited the girl, so we don't know the answer. Dobre. Koi na red ga da prove doji? Lucy, read the second one. Initial? Uh, initial reactions to animal therapy were positive. True. Yeah, that's true. This is the ah, false. Oh my God. Let's check the answer. Animal assisted therapy once Ray and met with opposition is something unproven to only bring germs into hospice. Ah, but one child need it. That dogs will bring only germs into hospitals. Visited me как се поддадохме на общото впечатление от статията. И така се допускат грешки на този изпит. Всъщност това ми прилича на състезанието Бъди бога, стани богат, нали? Хуанч би е милиане. Много е важно да прочетете правилно въпрос. The answer is there for you to guess. Да, Богдан, can you read the next question? Mm. Current research examines the reasons why animal assisted therapy works. Put it aside. I'd say yes, but. Добре, но къде го пише това, в кое, на кое изречение? Examines the reasons why animal assisted therapy works. Да, мисля, че това го има, принципно. Animal assisted therapy, where animal therapy can now be found. Да, да, да. Yes, да. Сигурно това е вярно. True. Един верен отговор. Да, два верни отговора. <laughs> И Вайла, what about four? 
И uh, horses provide multitude of advantages in physiotherapy. Не съм сигурна дали това го имаш. Само ще има ли го за... Вижте как е формулирано. Нали? А, не. Имаше го като физикал терапи. Даже мога да ви прочета изречението. For example, horses often assist in physical therapy with often impressive results. Да, ето го това изречение. Значи е true. Добре. Добре. Yeah, bravo, bravo, Ivaila. You have a good eye for detail, by the way. This is great. Super. Katrina, can you try the next question? Animals can help uh, trauma victims communicate. Can help. Травмираните. Животните могат да помогнат на травмираните жертви да общуват. I think it was a yes. I think so. Но дали го пише в текста? Конкретно. Victims of natural disaster respond very to animal assistance. Many are unable to communicate following such events, but a lick on the cheek or the wag of a tail has an immediate soothing effect. As it turns out, така. Я да видим въпросът. Така, Animals can help trauma victims communicate. Да, приемаме, че е вярно. Така, пак объркахме нещо. Къде? Нас мисля, че ние го прочетохме това. Victims of natural disasters respond very well to animal assistance. Many are unable to communicate following such events. Добре де. Какъв е въпросът? Защо аз не го разбрах въпроса? Вие ще ли да кажете също вярно? Тук никога не бих избрала doesn't say. А го имам в, по този начин отговора и в ръководство за учителя. Катя, помисли защо това е doesn't say. Ти би могла да ми помогна. Мога да чука май, че мисля, че не е специфира дали са точно trauma victims. Ага, смисъл е различен. Ми травмирани жертви. Аз... Това Ай, беше... Да... Каква травма? Каква Моля. Травма точно? Така ли? Victims of natural disasters uh, or accidents. Ми те са травмирани. Ама има и други иначе видове травма, госпожо. Ми... Ма тук много е неясно. Many are unable to communicate. Ако някой може да ми обясни, аз не го разбирам. Аз със сигурност ще да избера верен отговор. И тук ще да сбъркам. No understanding for that. Няма значение. Продължаваме напред. Целта е да правим колкото може повече такива текстове за четене с разбиране. Да. Кой ще се пробва сега? Люси, try number six. One theory explaining the effectiveness of animal assisted therapy suggests that humans can learn to form uh, strong bonds with animals. It causes patients to be more receptive to, receptive to, traditional. Receptive to traditional therapy. It teaches uh, caregivers to be non judgmental in their approach to patients. Да намерим тази информация. One theory. Така, коя теория от всички? Uh... Си? Това ни според те. Останалите? Какво смятате? Значи отговор е грешен. Още веднъж прочетете въпроса правилен. Правилно. Една теория за ефективността на, жив... на помощта на животните при лечението внушава, предполага, че животните могат 
can learn to form strong bonds with animals, че хората можем да изградиме силни връзки с животните. Две, че това причинява на пациентите да бъдат по-ресептив на традиционал терапия. It teaches caregivers to be non-judgmental in their approach to patients. Значи отговора не е C. Тогава остава съответно да бъде B. Нали? Да, B. От тия двете е явно, че B. Да, със сигурност е така. То затова е хубаво там, където има болен човек в къщата, да има задължително домашен любимец. If there is a sick person in the family, there must be a pet to take some of the pressure, some of the sorrow of the people in the family. Чудесно. Стояне, can you try number seven? Да. Има ли го в текста? Открия ли го някъде? А, има го. Има го, да. Има го по-нагоре. Helps heal heart disease. Тук пише Reduce the risk of heart disease. Да, добре. Results in a faster recovery. Аз това бих избрала принцип, но A. Но тук намерих такъв текст. Имаше и такова. More recently studies have shown that having a pet around can reduce the risk of heart disease. Ами, добре, продължаваме. Ето го текст, ето го отговора. Show that after the introduction of therapy dogs, I've reached recovery time seriously. А, има си го като текст. Затова трябва да бъде отговор A. Да, и последното. Въпрос, че Богдан, can you read the last question? Yes, according to the article, horses can be used in a variety of therapies, have an immediate effect on a patient's physical condition, create a bond with patients, giving them an incentive. I'd say it's the number C. Create a bond. Аз, защото днес го четях този текст, вижте, това е последния параграф, законет. Така, говорят за кончетата, че те също имат доста голямо въздействие в лечението. Ето сега, по-нагоре. Значи, the therapeutic effects are not only limited to medical illnesses or only involved dogs. Other animals such as horses, cats, rabbits and even dolphins have assisted in therapy for people with disabilities. And those affected by some kind of trauma. For example, horses often assist in physical therapy with often impressive results. The beauty of a horse is that it can be therapeutic in a variety of ways, says this very therapist. The catch a coast to the water again. Да си мисля, че е Ей отговора тук. Аз мисля, че няма да е госпожо, защото тук Variety of ways Different therapies Variety of therapies не мисля, че е точно. Различни терапии, различни начини е... Ама могат да бъдат therapeutic in a variety of ways. Patients benefit from the connection they built with their horse, enabling them to be more willing to work in therapy, as well as the physical benefits of improved strength and control they gain working over time with the horse. И така. И ми давайте на тото ще играем пак. Хебен на миди ефект. Няма да е би. Create a bond with patients, giving them an incentive. Аз въпреки всичко мисля, че е, но ти кое казваш, Богдан е последно? Кое ще избрат? Ти казваш си, така ли? Добре, let's see, си. Верен отговор. Аз ви казвам защо за А не става. Защо? Нали тук е Variety of Therapies? Това е различни терапии, а там е просто различни начини, по които могат да помогнат. Не в терапии. 
Добре. Терапия да само една от там. Добре. Съгласна съм. I agreed with you. Добре. Чудесно. И сега остава да отговорим на тези въпроси. Кои от думите, some of the words and phrases in the passage, mean the same as endure in paragraph one? Which is this word in the text? Издържам. Коя думичка има това значение? Write the words in the box. Undergo. Undergo. Добре, точно това е браво. Undergo. And this approval in paragraph 2. Всички, значи сега искам бързичко да прегледате paragraph 2. Тази дума означава, какво казахме? Disapproval. Неодобрение. Коя от тези думи ще има подобно значение? Ето я. Approval ли е? Opposition. Opposition. Така е. Тази дума виждам в случая. Opposition. Next. The opposite of strong in paragraph one. Коя дума ще бъде? Paragraph one. Обратното на силен ще бъде слаб. Имаше faint. Така, така, търсете слайд. Къде? Коя от всичките? Weak. Maybe deteriorating. Не, госпожо, фейнт си е, госпожо. Фейнт. Да, фейнт, ама аз ня виждам тук. Има е там фейнт майл. Добре, да, със сигурно се фейнт. Unlimited. Айде, направо ще я дадеме. Wide spread. A faint smile. Това в първия параграф ли е? Аха. I'm actually spoke and managed a faint smile. Лека усмивка. When she saw the dog. That was her first impression. Но може би Катрина тази в клас, която би ни разказала повече за the therapeutic effect on dogs on her life. Катрин, do you want to share? about your dogs, how do they impact on your personality? It's true, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. um, how many dogs are you looking after, Katrin? Two. Two big dogs. Yeah, no, it's not big. Uh, how, how big are they? Uh, and um, what species are your dogs? What do you the say? One that I am looking for more than the other is um, here at my house and it's mini Pomeran. Uh -huh. um, he's a little breed dog and it's uh, easy to take care of. Mm -hmm. But um, he's also a very energetic dog and uh, if you want to have this kind of dog in your house you have to walk him maybe three or four times a day Day. so That's he nice. can be um he can fall asleep easy because um i see you wake up uh, my okay <laughs> my neighbors barking with the barking he has I see. Mm -hmm. So do you agree with this article that yes, by the way, definitely helps people, especially when they are ill, seriously ill? Yeah, because uh, maybe, uh, or it's just me, when I'm sick, I, mm -hmm. and uh, he play around me, I just feel his energy somehow. I it just know. make me feel better. I don't know why. Great. And when they become ill, how do you feel about that? When they got ill? Um, we take a very serious care. Of them, of them, I see. Bravo. Well done. Okay. Now, exercise three. Very briefly, can you find the synonyms for the highlighted words? Significant. Which one of these words means significant improvement? Всички заедно на глас може да се обаждате. Коя думичка от тези е significant in this context? 
Коща се пробва. Люси? Профаунд. Чудесно. Напишете си профаунд. И Вайла, what about healing process? Animals can be an important part of the healing process. Ами мисля, че е сутинг. Не, лечебен според мен е терапевтик. Екатерина. Сега Богдан, номер 4. The hospital hopes to include animal therapy in most of uh, its works by the end of the year mm -hmm. to Which incorporate. Incorporate. Нали знаете думата awards? Това са отделенията в болницата. Интересно, нали? Аз не знам за нашата болница about our hospital in Petrich. I'm not sure, I'm not at all positive that they will incorporate animal therapy in our hospital at all. But this is amazing, isn't it? Добре. Стоян, what about five? Това го използвахме вече. Остана думата soothing effect on the injured girl. И кой сега Люси? The next one. Most people have a natural inclination to feel comfortable about around animals. Inclination. Склонност. Наклонност. Propensity. Propensity. Ето тази дума и за мен е нова. Propensity. Никога не съм мечувала до сега. Inclination. Склонност. Наклонност. Well, Stoyan again. Seven. This is settings. Това ни остана settings. And the last one, Bogdan. Read the last one. Animal therapy is becoming popular in many health facilities around the world, gaining momentum. It's gaining momentum. Придобивам популярност. Набирам скорост, буквално. It's gaining momentum. Чудесно, браво. И последното упражнение е свързано с complete the phrases in the sentences with the verbs in the correct form. To cross, race, break, meet and go. Екатерина, would you like to start with the first sentence? Animals help break down barriers between the patient and the therapist. That's right. Ивайла. The introduction of therapy dogs to the hospital was... Не знам. Може би била посрещната. Meet with. Met. А, met, да. Met with opposition. With opposition by some members of the board. Добре. Катрин, номер 3. Номер 3. Petting an animal. Can you see that sentence, Katrine? Черен ти екрана. Ами, аз съм го споделила. Нищо нямаш ли? А, ето, сега е зазна. Сега е зазна. Да. Petting an animal can increase happiness by one of these verbs. Потупването, галенето на домашния любимец нарасва щастието, увеличава нашето усещане за щастие, като какво прави? Увеличава определени нива на хормона. Въгола, какво тези говори, нараствам, увеличавам. 
Mm -hmm. Katrine, yes, maybe she can now hear us. Katrine, can you hear us now? Да. Добре. Хайде, кой глагол ще използваме? На третото ли? Number three, yes. Petting an animal can increase happiness by uh, raise. Raising. Защото има raising. Block. Да. Да. Certain hormones, mm -hmm. hormone levels. И Вайла? The relationship between a pet and its owner usually Minava is what option usually goes beyond beyond just, just companion. companionship. Lucy, the last one. Animals uh, affectionate nature allows them to cross all boundaries, making people feel loved and secure. Well done. So that was the end of this reading comprehension task. And now we are ready to move on with vocabulary on the topic. So everyone, open your student's book. I'll give you the page number, just a second. Page 62 in your student's books. Open your student's books. Uh, number four, health matrix, page 62 in your students' books. And we'll continue with exercise one. Complete the gaps in one of these words. That was your homework, by the way. So let's start with Stoyan. Number one. Smash can be Infectious. Causing Lucy others. Causing others to smile at Dobre. Bogdan, number two. These uh, are finally starting to cast a uh, light on the. Uh, mm, mysterious secrets da. of smiling. Maybe. Mysterious. Ekaterina. Whether it's um, uh, mischievous? Mischievous. Smirk. Or a hit green. A smile can tell us a lot about a person. Bravo. Ivala. A smile can make the body produce uh, mood and chasing substances such as uh, dopamine. Bravo, in a kind Katrin. When uh, someone is ill, smiling can offer um which mm -hmm. the the uh, therapeutic benefits and speed of recovery. That's right. Okay. Two, fill in the gaps with display, lift, review, and capture in their correct forms. Lucy, next one. Hi there. Mona Lisa's smile. Uh this place, the imagination of viewers for hundreds of years. This place. Ne, ne, ne. Tuk je hvaštam vobraženjetu, ne li? Captures. Da, obače, for hundreds of years. Prodolženje. Misliče, ko je... Has been... Has, has captured, ne li? е оловило въображението, защото е в продължение на години. Has captured the imagination of viewers for hundreds of years. That, that's the correct answer. Стоян, the second one. For centuries, our historians have speculated over what emotions display 
Значи ви сега, времето правилно ли? А, в продължение на векове, four centuries, отново мое перфектно време, art historians have speculated what emotions са били показани have been displayed in the Mona Lisa painting. Are displayed. Добре, важното е, че хванахме, че е следателен залог. Are displayed or have been displayed in Mona Lisa painting. So, Bogdan, number three. Many viewers uh, find the painting uh, capturing their spirits. And а не, не, capture, го използвахме вече. Capture се използва в първото изречение. И display използвахме, остават lift и reveal. Mm. Lift. Lift. Yeah, lifting, може би. Lifting. Uh, find the painting lifts the spirits and gives them a ah, tuka zadi ftora ta forma gives значи lifts the spirit and gives them a sense of hope in the kraya the ekaterina art history study the mona lisa in hopes of uh, displaying Тайната може да бъде единствено разкрита. Да. И, кое, и как ще стане? In hope of Разкривам и тук ще добавим ing. Защото е след предлог. Uh, revealing the secrets behind the smile. Добре. Това беше тази задачка. Next exercise. Fill in the gaps with one of these prepositions. Така, Ивайла. Mary's beautiful smile makes impression on everyone she meets. Mm -hmm. Добре. Катрин. Essential. Хайде всеки да почва да работи. Важно е. Studies show that smiling is essential for good health. Да, вярно. Боб, кой сега? Люси ли трябва да следва? Люси. Люси. The best response uh, to a smile is to smile back. Ми да. Добре, стоян. Maybe a smile. Uh, the sound or... Ne, smile at. Smile. A smile at you. Um, say, I'm smiling at you. And they smile at the sound of their mother's voice. E, Bogdan, the last one. Uh, your smile can have a positive impact uh, on the people around you. Точно така. Добре. Даци. Сега искам малко да направя по-интересна следващата ви задачка. Нека всеки само да се пробва първо да подреди думичките и след това да ги проверим. Нали? Така. I'll give you two or three minutes to go through the sentences and complete the gaps. Start working on your own. Всеки да си записва с молитче и да не очеки от answers.
Well, do you want to start discussing the answers now? Oh, well, it's too young. Try the first one, please. Yeah, that was the easiest, wasn't it? So, Bogdan, what about the second? The can be contracted through contaminant water. Uh, the disease. Mm -hmm. Ekaterina. Uh, regular training is the only way to build up uh, stamina. Stamina is the least. It was very hard. No, so that we must have only to three days. I must have mood, nastroenie, therapy, and restoration. So, Ivala. People suffering from depression often undergo um, therapy. Da, точно това е терапия. Therapy with a psychologist. Katrin? A great way to boost your um, mood is to meet up with close friends. Накрая, mm -hmm. Люси? Yeah. A positive and supportive environment can really speed up the recovery of patient. Next activity. Now, can you match the six nouns below to the sets of adjectives to form collocation? Значи, what can be daily, severe, emotional? Which of these words? Stoyane, can be daily. Severe emotional. Всеки дневно. Може да бъде стрес. Стреса може да бъде всеки дневен. От всички тези неща. Разбирате ли? Yes, so this is... Daily stress. Severe stress. Сериозен. Emotional stress. Emotional stress. Така. Богдан, can you try the next one? Alternative? Alternativna, non-invasive, означава не много инвазивна, продължаваща, която в момента се извършва какво? Therapy. The therapy can be non-invasive therapy, like alternative way of treating people. Екатерина, номер 3. Amiable and приятен. Приятелски, friendly. Mood? Me? Da. What should be? Mood. Da. You can have an amiable mood, rotten, a развалено настроение, а защ и defiant, защитно настроение. To defy from the other people. И вайла? Dramatic, full, swift. Кога ще бъде? Swift означава бърз. Драматично. Стемина какво е? Стемина е издържливост. Не може да бъде драматична издържливост. Значи тези изможе да бъде. Но не може да бъде бърза болест, но може да бъде бързо възстановяване. Бързо възстановяване, да. Рекавери. Рекавери. Драматик означава коренна промяна, а коренно възстановяване. Фул е пълно възстановяване, а свифт – бързо възстановяване. Тези думички ги имаме между другото, а не тук, ще ги тези има и тук в хел бутона. Amiable mood, казахме friendly frame of mind, rotten mood, така. И ето го, swift recovery означава getting better, after an illness, in a short period of time, I've heard that Sam is sick at the moment. I hope he makes a swift recovery and gets well soon. About these diseases. Chronic disease is an incurable, nelichimu, zabolavane, continuing for a long time. Terminal disease, an illness that leads to death, 
тотално заболяване. Заболяване, което ще доведе до фатален край. Degenerative disease, an illness that gradually gets worse. Значи дегенеративно заболяване, което постепенно се влушава. Like Parkinson's is a serious degenerative disease. It starts with mild shaking, but gradually gets worse over time. И казахме стамина. Това е издържливост. The marathon runner wasn't sure if he had enough stamina to finish the race. Сега да довършиме тази задачка. Значи стана chronic terminal degenerative disease. And finally, mental physical stamina. Окей, okay, ready. Продължаваме с следващите задачки. Имате ли нужда от малко пошивка за секунда да спрем да поемеме малко въздух, преди да продължим напред? Задача 5. А... О, ма това е хубаво упражнение това. Write sentences for the collocations below. Read them to your partner. Can you write down two sentences? Not all of them, but a couple of sentences with these words. Хайде ще ви дам време да помислите и да приложите тези изречения в собствени мисли. And I've given you examples here from my student's book, Katrin, he le she left. Okay, so I think you need a short break before we continue. Uh, do you want to share something with me, guys, from today? Did you hear anything good, some good news about the world today? Is there anything nice you want to share with me before we move on? Имате ли good news? Hmm? Any good news, Bogdan? Oh, Bogdan, tell us about your brother. Yeah? I uh, read something in Facebook yesterday. What award did he gain? Did he get? Oh, yeah, he was in the top three uh, competitors from our club, judo club. Yeah. So he got and he won he won uh, like money. Some uh, he got some he got an award, yes. Yeah. Some money for winning first places in judo competitions, didn't he? Yeah. So you are an example of how people can combine both sports results with studying. And I think this is the reason why you are so good at studying. Am I right, Bogdan? Yeah, because yeah. You, you do a lot of sport. How many hours a week, Bogdan, do you practice sport? Um, maybe... Yeah. Uh, 12 or 15 hours a week. A week, yeah. You do judo training, yes. And what was your last competition? Judo and fitness. Judo and fitness. What was your last competition you took place, you took part in? Mm, I think it was a few months ago mm -hmm. in Plovdiv where I won a third place. Bravo. So you won the third place in this competition. Well done. Great. What about the other students? Is anybody like Bogdan actively involved in sports? Okay. It's always good to do some kind of sports. It's a good way of dealing with stress. И така, добре, това ви беше малко разсейване. Исках само за секунда да ви променя фокуса, за да продължим с следващата задачка, защото в един момент става малко досадно. It becomes a bit boring. И така, сега тези изречения, вижте примера за rotten mood. What's wrong with Tom? He's in a rotten mood today. Чува ли сте го този израз? Как е в лошо настроение? 
He's in a yeah. rotten mood today. Така, swift recovery, това съм го чувала. Some chronic diseases can be prevented by making lifestyle changes. Yeah, definitely. We, many people should make life cha lifestyle changes to get better. And this is also important. Severe stress can take its toll oh. on a person's health. Mm -hmm. And next one. Anna prefers to use alternative therapies, such as acupuncture, rather than take pain medicine. Mm -hmm. Da, dobre. I, a, sushmo sega, samo ena sekundička, let's check the last sentence. Working as a minor would surely require great physical stamina. И сега във връзка с това ще дам един масажен пръстен на Стоян, докато работим в клас. Масаж е част от тялото. Има една сигнификантна тази масаж, когато има една сигнификантна терапевтична ефекта на тялото. Когато си стадим и не стадим много, просто го стадим и не го дадим да го дадим. Yeah, it helps a lot with stress relief. Okay, so just put it on your finger and just move it up and down during the lesson. It will be massaging the whole body. Okay, и сега следващата ви задача е свързана с health problems and injuries. Сега ще въведеме още доста лексика, свързани с нашите здравословни проблеми. И така, which of these two words goes with headache? Carla had what kind of headache so she went home? Splitting. Splitting. Чува ли сте разцепващо главоболи? Той на български мисля, че е така, защото стингинга е ожулване. Не може главоболите да бъде ожулващо, а по-скоро разцепващо. If the glands, Lucy, can you read the next one? If the glands in your throat are... You might have an infection. Do you know the word? Da, točno neka žlezite. Ako žlezite se vi poduti, you might have an infection. Svalane podut. Can you continue the next one? Jim. Jim. Muskula može da bude skasan, nali? Tor. In his calf, kako beše calf? Prasets od zad. And using, is using crutches. Kako je crutches? Paterici. To get around. Сега, това е малко по-силен натиск, нали? Може лекичко да го отслабнеш, но това масажира цялото тяло и ти се буща. Така, Ивана, кой е бъдат хора? Грандма е да... Dropping pain in her knuckles, so she took some pain medicine. From a точно такава пулсираща болка in her knuckles. Знаете ли какво беше knuckle? Knuckles? Това са вашите кокочи. Кокочите тук на ставичките ви. Това са knuckles. Точно така. Добре. Богдан, номер 5. Кевин... Stopped his toe on the door. Точно така, това ще бъде stabbed. That's the difference to accidentally hurt one's toe. And fracture is to get a bone broken. So that's the stab. That's the meaning here. Добре. Lucy, the next one. I... This dislocated my collar bone in a skiing accident and I have to wear a sling for two weeks. Знаете ли какво беше a color bone? Това е вашата ключица. Да, ключица. И I have to wear a sling. A sling е триъгълник. Триъгълна кърпа for two weeks. Точно така. Like your brother Lucy, he is now wearing a sling. Yeah? Lucy, so what did your brother yes. 
what happened to your brother during the skiing accident last week? Tell us. He fell and um, dislocated uh, his uh, collarbone or something like that. The Maybe. same thing, really? The same thing happened to your brother? I don't know what uh, actually happened, but um, hmm? something like uh, he tore the muscle or... I see. Know. He tore a muscle in his one of his arms, left or yes. left arm during a ski yes. accident. And now, Poloji, he has And to now wear... he's, he has to wear a sling for How three long? or four. For three weeks. Interesting to touch on the deficit pattern to vice retainer. No, I had no idea that it's gonna be you. Now, exercise two, at least the health problems, injuries be described in the sentences under the headings. Добре, хайде на бързо да го направим. Всъщност, направо ще го видим. Ако няма нужда да губим време за това, Throbbing pain in the knuckles, torn muscle in the calf, stubbed toe, splitting headache, swollen glands, and dislocated collarbone. Okay? Itaka Blujavume. Exercise six. Well, listen to three people talking. Match what they say to one of the injuries, health problems below. Okay, let's practice listening comprehension skills. Speaker 1. I kept my son home from school because he had a fever and I figured he had the flu. Then I noticed his throat was a bit swollen. Enlarged glands are a warning sign, so I took him to the doctor right away. Turns out he had a serious ear infection. After a few days on antibiotics, He'd almost completely recovered. What a relief. Mm -hmm. okay. Speaker 2. Now that I'm old, I have pain in my joints that never seems to go away. The worst is my hands, because I need to use them for everything. My knuckles throb and it's hard to bend them. But the doctor says I have to keep moving and using them despite the pain or it will get worse. There's not much I can do other than take an aspirin when it gets unbearable. Speaker 3 It happens to me several times a year and I dread it. First, I become sensitive to bright lights and strong smells. And then, after a while, the pain starts. If you've never experienced it, there's no way I can describe it. I can't even move my eyes, and I feel like my head is being crushed. Luckily, I have medicine that helps a lot, as long as I take it early on before the pain gets too severe. Well, so the first speaker was complaining about what, Lucy? The problem was... Um. I don't heard well. He had an ear infection. This person had an ear infection. So the problem was with um, the swollen glands. Swollen glands, yes. yes. That's an ear infection. Uh, Ivana, what about the second person talking? Middle dropping pain in knuckles. In knuckles. And Ekaterina, the last speaker. Um, uh, the splitting headache. Mm -hmm. The splitting headache. Yeah, can you say Headache. Headache. Значи, Катя, много си добра във всяко едно отношение, само малко произношението трябва да го... Тоест, това зависи единствено и само от тебе. Да си обърнеш внимание на произношението на думите, за да звучиш като носител на езика. Headache. Headache. А може да е такава грешка фосилизирана, да си е научила по-грешно тази дума и да си я повтаряш грешно. Така. Now, uh, we have to talk about problems. 
Have you or your friends ever experienced any health problems or injuries? Describe what happened and how you felt. Oh, we have all experienced such problems. Does anybody want to tell us about their problems? Bogdan, I really want you to tell us about your injuries as a sports person. I remember you had you had broken something once. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I had uh, a few fractures in the past. So one of them is uh, in my left arm. Mm -hmm. And the second one is in my collarbone, the left yeah. arm. I remember the collarbone injury. And what happened? How did it happen? And how long did it take you to recover after the injury? Um, it happened during the training uh, here in Sofia before an uh, international camp. Mm -hmm. And my teammate mm -hmm. yeah. threw me, and when I fell to the ground, he fought. Uh, he fell with me and broke my bone and it took like four months to recover. Yeah, so you stopped training for four months at that time, yeah? Yeah. And did you sleep? How long, how do you feel after the injury? Could you sleep for the next four months? <laughs> yeah, uh, Maybe in the first uh, week it was the most difficult because I needed to adjust my bed and everything mm -hmm. I have in home. But after that, it wasn't a problem. And even the first week, it wasn't hard because I had experience with my broken arm. So it was much easier. That's good. And you were young, so your body can recover faster yeah. with such uh, injuries. Okay, Ekaterina, have you ever had a serious problem, health problem you went, you recovered from? Injuries, I have had plenty of trauma years. <laughs> really, plenty. For example, tell us about one of them. <laughs> when I was six months old, my mom has told me this. Um, I have apparently apparently broken my collarbone. Really? At the, yeah. at the age of six months? Really? How yeah. did it happen? What uh, happened? I was throwing my toys uh, from the couch. Uh, I was sitting there. My mom was uh, picking them up. I have <laughs> apparently found it like a game. And <laughs> I... Uh, he just decided to lean over the edge and I fell. I know. You know, my babies have also fallen off the bed, but they've never broken a kind of bone. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Lucy, what about you? Any other experiences? Yes. Um, <laughs> when I was younger, we went skiing and uh, while skiing one of my skates got stuck in the snow uh, and my knee overturned mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, swelled and turned blue and it uh, hurt a lot mm -hmm. this is uh, bad yeah so it yes. twisted in a way yes it twisted it's coaching you know, when it, it twisted yeah yeah, yeah. Even when it uh, becomes a lot uh, cold, it mm -hmm. hurts. still hurts. Yes, it still hurts. Or when I uh, ski, today I went uh, skiing in Bansko and it uh, hurts very bad. Oh, really? You went to Bansko today, yeah? Yes. For skiing, yeah? Yes. And is there a lot of snow in Bansko? Yes, uh, there there was. There is enough snow for skiing. Great. Yes. Uh -huh. Ivana, what about your experiences? Well, I 
didn't uh, have like a serious injury, but um, like for I haven't had, haven't had uh, any, like any serious, serious injury, injury, but like four to five years ago when I played, when I trained athletics, I, when I, I don't know. Uh, while when I, I did was the doing training. athletics, while mm -hmm. I was doing I athletics. injured my knee and it uh, yeah. hurt. Hurt it a lot, and I was I stopped training because uh, of your pain. The, the pain, yes. Oh, I have a similar injury. I was I overdid myself during athletics uh, training, and then since then I still have this pain in my right knee. And Stoyan, what about you? Have you had any severe injury injuries in your life so far? No. What about your your meeting with COVID, for example? What was it like? A fever for three days. Okay, a fever for three days. Fever. That was all. Great. Can you see my bursa was too much of Swift, a swift recovery from the virus, and just remember that this virus is will will be always sleeping in your body. Unfortunately, virus cannot be liquidated. They will be still living with you in your body, and every time you suffer um, a severe stress, they will they will invade you and broke your immunity. So this is the reason why we should have a lifey, uh, healthy lifestyle. Okay, Chudesno, you see, I like talking to you guys. It's more interesting. Now, exercise seven. Yeah, we still have enough time. Complete the sentences with the verbs in the correct form. Stoyan, can you start with the last the first one? Apply the ointment to heal the wound. Heal faster. Da, this is the way to heal faster. And voila. The accident victim was taken to the hospital to be um, mm -hmm. Relieved for me mm. to be treated, treated, treated to be for treated. minor cut and bruise. bruises. The body treated on the brain, Lucy. Uh, these heat compresses really help treating back pain, help relieve oh. Oh. the black chat bulk. Yes, Help relieve back pain. Ekaterina? Uh, the fracture was slow to heal due to the age of the patient. Da. Bogdan, the last one. The article suggests certain breathing exercises in order to uh, Relief, maybe relief or no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that the tritium is the obliquish. Maybe it's okay. Relief, 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 anxiety. Da, statieta predlaga niakui izvesni upražnenje podišene za da obliquši vaštu rastrevoženost to relieve anxiety. Dobre. Следващата ви задачка е свързана с health conditions. Сега първо да чуем произношението на тези думи. Как според вас ще прочетете мигрена на английски? Има ли някоя идея? Мигрейн е произношението ви. Дай сега да ги чуете като произношение. Де са по-надолу с текста ни. Ето е думата. Listen. Migraine. 
В учебника пише мигрейн, аз си произнася майгрейн и не следваше да запомна произношението в учебника. А тук е съвсем много произношение сега. Извода е, че трябва да проверя Cambridge Dictionary. Извинявам се, но аз го знае като migraine. Обаче в учебника ви е записано с произношение migraine. Трябва да проверя дали двете произношения са общо валидни в а, произношението на тази дума. Не мога да бъде, с, да, да бъде поставена в неизвестност. Sorry for that. We are now checking the pronunciation of the word migraine. This is how I, I pronounce this word. But today, and if you look at the dictionary at the back, they have spelled the pronunciation migraine. So I made a lot of effort to remember the new pronunciation of the word. So let's check the dictionary. What it says. А, значи ги има и двете произношения. Migraine. And? Migraine. Ами, тогава всеки си казва това, което му харесва <laughs> в този случай. Аз я знаех като migraine и като видях, че е записана с migraine. Migraine. И бях много задъчена, че съм и научила думата погрешно. Do you suffer from migraines? Това е начина по който използваме думичката. Страдаш ли от мигрена? She keeps getting migraines. A migraine headache. Принципно причината за тези мигрени не е задължително да бъде на физическо ниво. Знаете ли за това? Може да бъде омраза, която се предава по, кръв, по кръвна линия от по поколенията, поколения напред. Така, но нека да завършим тази задача. Трябва да стигнем идиоматичните изрази. Така, първата думичка е migraine, sinus, sinusitis. A следващата дума. Just listen to the sinusitis. That's the next one. Listen. Sinusitis. 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 Is there anybody in the class who has sinusitis? Sinusit. Sinusitis. 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 Кръмп. Кръмп, знаем какво е кръмп, съкрещаване на мускула. Артритис. Артритис, артрит. Добре. Хайде сега да се върнем. Келдиньал, матч да колокейшн, студент конфайнт. Стоям. Моя грама артритис. Ивайла, номер 2. Не ми излиза екрана, госпожо. I'm sorry for that. We are now doing exercise 8 in your students' books. Да. I have a terrible headache and nausea. Migraine. 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 Lucy? Uh, Tony has a very painful muscle spasm. Mm -hmm. uh, Cramp. Yeah. Cramp, yes. Cramp. Ekaterina. Uh, my nose uh, is blocked and my face is swollen. Uh, sinusitis. Ah, uh, как е произнесло по мен? <laughs> Кажи е сега до Sinusitis. Sinusitis. Даже, за да ви е по-лесна, е ще напишем тук в Cambridge Dictionary, да я видите написана с символите на фонетичната транскрипция. Си, но, си, чез. Ето ни е думата. Сайни, сайтес. Последното. Вижте е думата. It has a medical. 
Sinusitis. 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 Ето тук ще го снимам за произношението. Трябва да знаете, ако някой има синузит, как да каже думата на английски. Sinusitis. Everybody say together. Sinusitis. Or... Sinusitis. Това е на американски английски. Or British English. Sinusitis. Sinusitis. Така, и сега да довършим идиоматичните изрази. Продължаваме. Чували ли тези изрази? Idioms related to health. Да бъдете, to be, така, be as fit as, да бъдете много здрав. Коя от тези думички, ето този човек, да е показано е, здрав съм като цигулка, нали? To be as fit as... И трябва сега да наричим кое с кое ще вържите. As fit as a fiddle. Нали? Запишете си първия идиоматичен израз. Be as fit as a fiddle. Да бъдете здрав. Много силен, здрав и... Да, здрав. Feel out. Кой би, се пр... Пр... би продължил второто? Втори идиоматичен... Uh, кой каза? Какво казахте? Feel out. Of sorts. Of sorts. Така, listen. Feel out of sorts. To feel out of sorts. In this context, the meaning was uh, uh, not this one, but I'll let just show you the expression here. Feel out of sorts. To feel a little ill. Okay? Listen. Feel out of sorts. The next one is... Be given a clean bill of health. To be given a clean bill of health. Официално да ви кажа, че имате чисто добро здравословно състояние. To be officially told that my state of health is very good. To be given a clean bill of health. And if you are back on one seat like me, you have just recovered from a health problem. Be back on one's feet. То е да стъпи обратно на краката си. To be successful again after overcoming problems. Връщам се в нормалното си състояние. To be back on my feet. Добре. Uh, let's check the words here. Listen, that's the explanation. And now let's use these expressions in the next activity. Actually, you should make your own sentences with them for homework, okay? And let's just complete the prepositions after these adjectives. Ivana, can you continue, please? Carol is obsessed with uh, her weight mm. uh, and is almost constantly on a diet. Ekaterina? Katia? Uh, this takes all on, on the body. Bogdan? Mm-hmm. Uh, nurses try to put their patients um, the beneath. Ne. Opite do prelog at is the gilblickchat. Съсвите се опитва да облегчат техните пациенти. To put their patients at is Lucy? Um, it's okay to eat sweets uh, in moderation. Да, умерено. In moderation. Стоян. On the road of recovery and benefit of exercising. Phrasal verbs. Continue, Ivana. Um, 
my grandfather passed away last month on, at the ripe old age of 92. Da, to pass away, umria. Ekaterina. Ekaterina, are you there? Oh, uh, ne bia pusam u mikrofon. <laughs> Apply the cream twice a day and the rush will clear up. In no time. Okay, Bogdan. Mm -hmm. mm, it's vital to wind da se down. Toxin to the se odvijes pružinata. Wind down after a stressful day, Lucy. Mr. Jones has pulled uh, back and is home from the hospital. Mm -hmm. through, pull through. To pull through is to recover. To pray. He has pulled through, but you say with the wheel, and he's home from the hospital. Still young. It is very much known to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Toward off a winter cold and Lucy doing a rigorous exercise certainly works uh, up. Mm -hmm. It wakes up an appetite. Повишава апетита един вид. Yes, doing rigorous. Това са такива интензивни упражнения. Със сигурност увеличава апетита ви. И най-последното упражнение завършваме. Something to be thankful for. Generally speaking, we should be thankful that we are alive every single day. Ивана, can you start, please? There is a lot to be thankful for in life, but studies have shown that we should give thanks for um, grateful... For gratefulness. Gratefulness. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Gratefulness. Yeah. Okay. Gratefulness itself. Mm -hmm. Добре, чудесно. Екатерина. Uh, it's important to identify. Произношението е identify. Не identify, защото е грешно. Фокусирай се наистина върху произношението, Катя. Identify the goodness in life and the positive emotion of being grateful allows us to do just that. Bogdan? That uh, doesn't mean we should ignore everyday troubles and complain, but rather just change our focus. Complain is just your standard. No. And complaints. And look at the suggestion we have. You should ignore everyday and complaints, but rather just change our focus. Точно това е много важно, да си променим фокуса. Lucy. People who are can... Непрекъснато, вероятно. Consist. Чак сега. Да, наречени трябва. Непрекъснато благодарни. Consistent. Лиц. Нали? Oh, consistently uh, grateful, report a variety of benefits, both physiological and physical. Значи това е, което непрекъснато сме, когато ние сме непрекъснато благодарни за всяко едно нещо, което имаме в живота си, we get a variety of benefits, both physiological and physical. Стоян. Техните връзки се засилват. Relationships, even now. Я да видим като произволни. Their relations. Да, в случай ще бъде. Their relationships. 
or relations, Ruski names as Horda, relationships are strengthened as they allow Logique to young themselves. Themselves to show appreciation of the same thing they are quick to. Quick to knowing, maybe. To oh. quick to acknowledge, quick to go. Глагола acknowledge, да оценят, че другите са ценни за тях, че другите ги оценяват също. Добре. Ивайла? Being grateful can... Um, form... Трансформи... Тук е според мен трансформира. Can transform mm -hmm. one's life from negative and miserable to positive and uh, meaningful and that's definitely and that's definitely worth being thankful for sure that's not i think this is a good end of the lesson so thank you for being so patient and staying until the last activity we'll continue next tuesday for homework you should do in your workbook the same pages on topic vocabulary so open your vocabulary book and do the same vocabulary from unit 4b okay have a nice day and the pages are 42 and 43 in your workbook have a nice evening everybody bye 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 bye, -bye. Ah, počekaj, ти и твоите родители. Отвън.